Roar Nevada, January 2020. Drive all the way up in here. The ground's too squishy. We hiked from Snow Bag Gump Bill to the town site. several times and it's still the most fascinating wood out of every wood we explored. So much history here and people don't even realize it because it just looks like it's an empty field. Big boot tail. Back in its day. 1860s, 1880s, 1870s. There's a little visitor. A cow. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I don't. Where's the rest of your, the rest of your gut, your herd? Yeah, it must suck out here at night. It's pretty freaking cold. I camped here back in September, like the year 2000. It was freezing. come up here because I don't think well there was no tracks on that road at all tire tracks nobody usually comes up here in the winter time when there's snow and stuff Bodie's off that way there's lover's leap What's up, buddy? This poor guy got stranded, it looks like, man. His herd bounced and he's... Poor thing. Poor thing. It's all right, buddy. Looking up Pine Street, or what was Pine Street at one time. Basically, your main thoroughfare in Aurora, Smyrna Courthouse. That 
was made of Madeira. It was brought on tell in the 1800s. Superintendent's house was right up against that hill up there. Several videos on this stuff. A few years ago, we flew a drone over most of this town site. Get some closer pictures of some of this stuff. Got a little bit of a walk uphill out of here. Back to the truck. I stopped by the cemetery. Real quick video. This was a thriving community. deep or nothing out here right now but got a bunch of clay composite soil when I've been here those tires will just spin oh well, we've never actually walked hiked into this town site we've been here several times and we've always been here all the way. never came this time of year for one Over that way was where this all started, Esmeralda Camp. First little settlement was way back there in that, that mountain there with snow on it. Up right there, it's hard to see right now. But there's some tailing, that was a real Del Body hoisting works, real Del Body mine. But you had the Wide West mine over there, and a bunch of others. I said we have a lot of content on, my, on our YouTube channel on this place. Just wanted to do one in the winter time with snow on the ground. want to see what this town looked like back in its heyday there's 
tons of old pictures, like looking up Pine Street online. If not, I'll include some of this video. The superintendent's house was right up in there. There's still a foundation from their little deal, like their walkway going up. Beautiful out here. Back in the 1860s, this was a very violent town. There was a lot of homicides and such. Exchange Hotel, I believe, was somewhere right up in there where William Carter, Carter got shot. The back of the head, walking out one, one evening. The schoolhouse, where the schoolhouse was, was up there. building down this street here. I believe this was wide, wide West Street. I'm wrong. Oh, this is still part of it. I think it branches off right over there. First time we came out here to go look at the old ruins of the Del Monte Oyster Park behind them all, up all that hill. All the way up that hill, which was a pain in the ass. But well, you got to see a lot of cool shit going up there. So a lot of man and mines and such. We found there's a road making up there in the suburban. If you look at old photographs of Aurora, you'll see that tailing, you'll see the hoisting works, the building. There's still foundations. Timber and stuff later on in here. Usually we get out, get this brush, this sage brush and stuff, and show you where there's buildings. Not today, we gotta try to get out of here before the sun goes down and shit starts to freeze up. What I'm walking down now is basically the main thoroughfare. The business district, so to speak. But... Yeah, he... he that boy, I think he's kind of separated from his herd. I kind of feel bad for him. Poor 
guy. Huh? Did you get like an overview of this? Oh, big boy. How you doing, buddy? I guess they have a new bear here at Aurora. It's this cow right here. Guarding the past. Right in here, there was a real cool picture that's took back like I believe it was the 1890s. With all the buildings, there's, there's like a wagon trade coming down the hill right here. Walk down to this, where the stamp mill used to be. Real quick, you can run down a battery. Right there, then they say a rower has population zero. There's a current resident right there, a cow right there. This right here is the, the, the wall. This used to be a power substation back in the 1900s, I believe. And before that, it was. They stored beer from the Esmeralda Brewery, I believe, in there. Get up here, I'll show you the area which was a quote-unquote the red light district Aurora. And then the China Gardens. Area where the Chinese people lived. Because they were kind of, they put them over here to keep out of sight on bugs. Back then there was a lot of anti-Chinese Chinese helped to form this country and all the stuff they helped construct and in my opinion they still don't get enough respect for the labor they did to help build this country and this area what have you China Gardens. I'll show you that in a sec. <laughs> the 
this road here, if you follow it around the hill, down it'll take you over Bodie Creek. There used to be, you could, the road got washed out a few years ago, a couple years ago. Just gotta go to Bodie until Mineral County gets their butt gear and fixes it. It's currently unpassable. And up in there, not gonna walk up there today, but the old Levy house, Levi house, Levy, whatever. It's up in there. And a bunch of other residents. It's gonna go down to this old stamp mill. down here without falling hurt myself because I'm getting old it's slippery as shit out here there's one of the old flywheels which I'm going to stand on to get this some of the debris from the structure. Risden Ironworks, 1896. And down this way, This way was the China Gardens. The Chinese people lived, they planted vegetables and such. The cell to the miners in a roar. And then let's see if I can show you where the red light district is, or was. Okay, see, here's another toppled ruin. There's a little busted down. There's an old busted wagon up on that, right up in there. <clears throat> now right up close to the base of that hill, that's where the old red light district was. And I'm damn they're out of battery. So we're gonna get a little bit more footage and walk back up to the top. Well, this was just a little tour of the Aurora Town site in the winter of January 2020. Damn, this is Footprints there. There's a side view of the Stamp Hill head bridge. Come out to Nevada and do any ghost town exploring. I could be checking this place out because there might not be a lot left. And I recommend checking out Gunfighters Highway Made of Vigilantes by Roger McGrath. He's a 
gives you a lot of the history of the violence and stuff that went down in this town. So you can put life to the place when you come here. You know, there's nothing here. So there's a lot of memories, there's a lot of history. That's why this has to be probably the coolest ghost town that I've ever explored over the years. I've been coming back here since 2000. And every time we come back here, we find new stuff to explore. Sign it out pretty quick because I'm almost out of battery. And I got it. I get a lot of complaints from people about the way we shoot these videos. This handheld with a GoPro and a selfie stick. Need to get something to stick. This is how it really is when you're out exploring. That's the way we're going to present this. That's all I can say about that. So you see me slip and fall or whatever, or what have you. This is like real exploring of these old ghost towns. We don't make a dime off any of this. We do this because we've been doing it for years and we love going out and exploring these old abandoned mining camps in Nevada and California. Like I said, right back there, the White Hill, around the other side of it, that's where it all started. Esmeralda Camp. But that's pretty inaccessible today. Show you that, but I've done videos on that when we found it. <clears throat> so this is Ghost Town to California and Nevada. Nevada in California, so I forgot to that. Sign it out. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, many more to come. Believe